Hi there, it's Eldon here, and today I wanted to talk to you about uh, psychocybernetics and continuing our conversation about uh, inner transformation so we can see our outer results and get to where we want to go in our lives. And I've used psychocybernetics uh, quite a few different times throughout my life uh, to achieve things that I felt were really out of my comfort zone. Uh, one of them was operating a crane and I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, later on in the video. Uh, Psycho-Cybernetics was developed by Dr. Maxwell Maltz and he would be considered like the grandfather of self-help as we know it today. Uh, people like Tony Robbins, Dr. Robert Anthony, uh, Jim Rohn, um, Brian Tracy, uh, all of these very successful people have their own spin on Dr. Maxwell Maltz's work. And so often, if you read through their stuff, you can see, ah, okay, he's taking a, a little snippet out of psycho-cybernetics. Um, so Dr. Max, Maxwell Maltz was a plastic surgeon, and he discovered that uh, as he would repair people's faces and disfigurement on their bodies, um, some people had dramatic change. Uh, people who were in jail uh, after having their nose repaired and, and maybe a scar uh, fixed on their face uh, had a complete 180 in their life and became outstanding citizens and worked for the betterment of of their world around them. And then other people who had lots of opportunity uh, were in very wealthy and powerful places still couldn't get past their deformity that they had and uh, never, never changed. And he realized that it wasn't the outward conditions that make you who you are. It is your inner world that creates your outer world. And this is really comes back to the hermetic principle as above, so below, as within, so without. And that, that principle you'll find is always there throughout, throughout life in so many different ways and places. Uh, it's actually quite profound. Uh, so anyways, the way that you use psychocybernetics is um, you would sit in a chair and relax. And you only do this for maybe 15, 20 minutes tops. And what you'll do is you will see yourself uh, doing the thing that you want to do. And you will see yourself on a big screen uh, acting out your your thing that you're doing. Uh, let's say it's dancing. Uh, maybe you would see yourself moving across the stage uh, with your partner and you're moving fluently and doing all of the moves and choreography that you need to do very fluently and extremely well. And then you visualize yourself doing it again but you're seeing your hands out in front of you and you're seeing it from the first person perspective and by doing this you are ingraining your mind to see yourself as the person that you want to be uh, and once you know and ex have experienced that try to feel it as much as you possibly can it becomes a real thing and your mind will work towards achieving that goal. Now I used psychocybernetics uh, in the past to learn how to operate a really big piece of equipment which was a crawler crane and we were I had only been working with heavy equipment for about a year so I was really green um, but I was given the chance and my, my supervisors believed in me and they saw potential that I didn't see in myself at the time. 
and I've observed my co-worker uh, using that piece of equipment. I sat right beside him and I watched everything that he was doing and then he would set me in the seat and I would learn how to operate these controls and, and what to do and what to how to do the sequence that you need to do it in and when I learned this I would go home and I would visualize myself doing this exactly the way I just described seeing myself in the third person and then seeing myself in the first person and since I had already sat in the machine and had a feel for what the controls felt like those feelings were already ingrained in me and by visualizing more I was able to within a week operate that piece of equipment quite fluently and get the results that my supervisors were wanting from me and I owe it all to psycho cybernetics that was uh, a huge turning point for me uh, going from somebody as green as I was behind a piece of equipment into something really really big it had 75 tons of counterweight on it plus another I, th I believe the machine was another 85 tons and I had a 40 ton bayou bucket on the front which is a big clamshell type bucket uh, and it's swinging 30 feet out in front of you and if you made a mistake you're your your toast there's no options for you <laughs> so very intimidating very out of my comfort zone uh, but I was able to do it and I learned how to do it uh, using psycho cybernetics now you can apply this to all kinds of other things in your life and if you've never experienced what it is that you're wanting to achieve what you do is take past experiences of something that you have done and that you do well and you take those feelings and you implement them into how you're doing the thing that you're imagining yourself doing you see your mind doesn't know the difference between an imagined thought and a thought or a, a real thing that we we perceive around us it doesn't know the difference uh, and with that in mind this is how you're able to change who you are from the inside out using psycho cybernetics if you like this if you uh, enjoyed this kind of the stuff uh, please like share comment I, I really want to hear from you what you think of this and I strongly suggest that you go get yourself a copy of psycho cybernetics it's a great book uh, there is uh, YouTube videos as well that go through the entire thing uh, listen to that as well there is so much information here that you can use to help transform your life and get you moving in a direction that you want to go and psycho cybernetics is well it's really the foundation of what we call self-help today so it'd be a good idea to to immerse yourself in it and and get a good understanding of how to do this and uh, and how it works uh, so yeah thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time